Dear learner, welcome in my lecture of web technology. Today I will discuss the remaining part of GSP exception handling. I am Dr. Asutosh Kumar Bhatt, Associate Professor, School of Computer Science and IT, Uttarakhand Open University, Haldwani. So, the learning objective of this lecture is to understand practical example of error handling and the exception handling in GSP. In previous lecture, we have discussed about theoretical concept of exception handling, error handling and uh, in JSP. Now first of all, the JSP exception handling. In JSP exception handling, we use error page and is error page. In previous lecture, we have also discussed how this error page and is error page program will be created. And try and catch block is also be used for exception handling and using WXML configuration is also one of the method for J JSP exception handling. So these are different three, three, three different methods. So first of all, we will repeat the error page and is error page. So this is the program here. You can again see the index.jsp. This is the first file and inside this file we have form and inside form we have first number and second number we are inputting these two number in two text box there are two text box and the variable name of these text box num1 and num2 as we will type the value of number 1 and number 2 and we will press the submit button so it will move to the next.jsp because form action equals to next.jsp so this is next.jsp so in next.jsp uh, the jsp part percentage equal sign we have written here integer dot parse in request dot get parameter number one so number one the value of first text box number one will input it here and it is divided by integer dot parse in request dot get parameter number two so number one will be divided by number two so in case suppose we are dividing number if the number 2 is 0 then it will generate the exception it will generate the error so we will move page is error page it means it, if page is error page so we will move to the error dot jsp from next dot jsp the first file that is that is index dot jsp from index dot jsp we move to this next dot jsp and if is there any error then we will move to the error dot jsp because we have mentioned here percentage at the rate page error page equals to error dot jsp so here this third file error dot jsp so first of all it will clarify that is it error page is there any error so if it is true then it will display start start it will start display a request is under process and it will display the particular exception that exception in italic and inside the heading 2 it will display percentage equals sign and then exception that particular type of exception will be displayed so you can see this in the uh, figure also in the previous slide so now the second method i have already told you the first one is the using error page and is error page and second method is try and catch block and try and with try and catch block you are familiar very well in java uh, so I am leaving here, uh, I am explaining you using WXML configuration. So uh, we can also use the XML file. So this is XML file, web.xml page. So by this page we can also uh, handle the exception. So this is web app, inside web app, the first of all welcome file list. So always we write the uh, welcome file list. So always welcome file list is the index.jsp so welcome file name is index.jsp slash welcome file and then we will mention here error page so exception type so we have to mention here exception type so java.language.exception so exception type will be mentioned here so its location error.jsp suppose this language.exception will occur then error.jsp will run Suppose uh, we have SQL exception, then exception type will be Java dot language dot language not language Java dot 
sql dot star so uh, this this type of exception then location will be sql error dot maybe sql error dot jsp or whatever the file name will be so accordingly we write here different error page uh, as per the different different type of error now again see the error page also so here error code can also be written error code 404 slash error code and location error dot jsp suppose uh, we have different different error code 404 504 so different category of error so accordingly the error file will be uh, associated with that and then finally we have web app will be closed so this way uh, this web xml can also be used for the exception handling so you can see um, this this uh, syntax also so uh, this is the error page and error page where I'm, where we are mentioning the different different error now you can declare error page in deployment descriptor you know the deployment descriptor for the entire web app and you can even configure the different error pages for different exception types or http error code types 504 500 404 etc so this is already given here so this error page error code 404 slash error and the location no found exception dot gsp so different different gsp file you have to prepare and uh, you have to link that particular error code with that particular gsp file also so this is uh, this is using w uh, web dot xml file also so now uh, see the output here the previous program this is the previous program where we are giving two numbers as a input two text box are here and if we are dividing this first number by that second number so it is divided uh, suppose it is divided by zero then error.jsp will run and this this is the error.jsp first of all in first line it will verify that it is error phase is error phase if yes then the particular exception name will be displayed on the screen of the user so uh, this uh, is the output of that program the previous program which i have explained you that the output of that program first number and second number are there two text box first number second number are the label and in front of this label we have two text box so as we will submit the query so uh, it will display submit query as it will uh, as we uh, submit the query so accordingly it will answer suppose 12 by 2 12 and second number is 2 so 12 by 2 equals to 6 so there is no problem in that case uh, developer has perfectly designed the code and there is no error but in the second time this is checked exception second time we are giving the wrong input uh, in first number we have we are giving the proper input right input 12 but in second number we have to uh, give the input as an integer but we are uh, we are giving here the input as a s so this is a string so it means this is wrong so the second value is wrong so in that case the exception will generate and request is under process will be displayed and java dot language dot number format exception means we have to give here integer but we are typing here a string so number format is miss missing uh, missing so java dot language dot number format exception for inputting a string as so user will understand that he has uh, inputted wrong in, uh, wrong value so uh, he will again he will run again and correct the value so uh, this will be alarming here uh, that we have given the wrong input so this is the program which we have already discussed now the implementation of this uh, jsp exception handling so this is very important all the programs should be written uh, using exception handling so this is the program of database connectivity where we are using this exception handling by using this try catch so as i have told you that three categories are there first is using error page and is error page secondly try and catch and third is using web xml configuration so i have explained you web xml 
configuration as well as using error page and is error page and try catch now i am explaining you the try catch block which is already you have learned in java programming language so this is the program of try catch block so here this is the uh, database connectivity program jsp that pulls book information from the database this is the program related to this so we have book database and we have to uh, search a particular type of book or we have to find a particular type of, of book so uh, or complete book also so we have mentioned here html body h1 heading one listing of book so all book we are uh, fetching here so heading one is closed and line break br for the line break now first of all we have to mention mentioned here at the rate page import java.sql.star because this is the database connectivity program so we need java.sql.star now table will start and first table row where we will mention three table heading that is title author and isbn so the width of title is 50 and the second second one is the 25 and third one width is the 25 so these three are the uh, uh, columns where we will have to fill the value so three headings are there now come to this try block so now this exception handling is started so inside this try block because this is the part of jsp so percentage uh, less than and percentage sign then try block then we have mentioned here database connectivity student class dot for name oracle dot jdbc dot driver dot oracle driver so we require for database connectivity for uh, with oracle we require this driver and now uh, in second line we will write connection string connection con equals to driver manager dot get connection so here here jdbc dot dot oracle dot thin oracle colon thin colon at the rate local host colon pandra ikis dot xe x is the dsn name and pandra ikis is the port name and local host means same computer uh, is used as the as a server and um, this uh, jdbc colon oracle colon thing is a connection string and system is a username and ascii is the password so by this uh, configuration we will connect with the server now we will create a blank statement a statement stmt equals to con dot the above created connection uh, its object is con so con dot create statement so we are creating here blank statement and we are writing here a string uh, SQL so we are defining here the S SQL statement SQL query select a stick from book data here uh, we are not running it but we are defining the this query and storing in the SQL object so this is the object of string now uh, we will have to write this uh, we will have to uh, run this uh, query so we have to uh, when we will run this query so we will extract the data from the book data uh, all values from the book data so we need to store it on the uh, a variable so this is the result set is a variable vector type of variable so its size its type its size is a uh, table size so rs equals to statement stmt dot execute query so this uh, SQ, sql this query will execute uh, and it will extract all the um, table of book data uh, all the data of book data table and all data will be transferred to the rs and now from this uh, rs one by one we have to extract this data so we are writing here while loop while rs dot next means uh, every time it will move to the next row uh, initially the pointer will be in the first row so uh, the data of first row will be fetched in the table row so here we are writing also table row tr also so tr and td uh, td means table data so the first string first title author and isbn you can see here this table already have this book data with these three will three field title author and isbn so rs dot get string title so it will be stored on the first table data first cell of the table uh, in second row first row is the table heading table heading three headings are there title author and 
SBN and in second row we will uh, extract each uh, get string title get string author and get string ISBN so title author and ISBN these three value value will be uh, assessed and these three value will be uh, displayed on the each cell of the table so this is the table structure table uh, this while loop is closed and TR table row already closed and table will close and finally uh, finally when all values will be accessed all values will be displayed then we are writing a statement not equal to null if not equal to none, null then a statement will be closed and cache block is there so exception if, if any exception occurred during this process then exception will will uh, will fire and at accordingly out dot print e uh, means this exception will generate the pre-recorded message so this is the cache block and finally body will close and html will close so this is the program of uh, try catch text in jsp after learning this lecture listening this lecture the outcome of the lecture learner will implement error handling in jsp learner will be expert in the exception handling in jsp and in next lecture we will discuss about jsp session taking thank you learner thank you very much